Hello beautiful people, welcome to today's episode of Simple Tech Solution Tutorials and today I'll be teaching you how you can get a free RDP and when I mean free RDP, I'm not talking about RDP with 1GB RAM or 2GB RAM I'm talking about RDP with 8GB RAM, no, 2 core CPUs and 240GB internal space now this is a very high speed RDP that you can use to do a lot of things that you want to do now I'm gonna tell you a lot of things you can do with RDP but at the end of this video, if you stay with us to this end of end of this tutorial, then I'll tell you a lot of things you can do with this RDP as a bonus to this video. Now, to start this uh, thing, you need to open an incognito tab, like what you're seeing me. This is an incognito tab. So then, just come to the search button and type Azure. Now, when you type Azure, you need to scroll down to a place where you have portal .azure. Now you can see this is portal dot azure.com so click on this portal now when you click on this portal it will tell you to sign in but we need to create an account and if you want to create an account i enjoin you to use this temporary email box now the reason i love uh flash inbox this is flash inbox.com the reason i love flash inbox is that you can create a personified temporary email like for instance if my name is thompson I can create an e inbox for thompson at flashinbox.com. So if I click on create, then I will have access to this thompson at flashinbox.com. So let's test that. I'm going to copy this. I'll come to Microsoft Azure. Then I'm going to paste this and I'll click on next. Oh, so we need to click on create a new account. Yes, we need to create a new account with this email that, with this temporary email that we just copied. So it looks like you don't have an account with us, so I'm going to create, click on next. So um, it will tell us to create a password. So we'll put a password you can easily remember and let's click on next. So now they're going to send a code to this Thompson at flashinbox.com. Okay. Now I didn't tell you, if you're liking this video, please consider to subscribe to our channel. Okay. And uh, the videos you watch, if you're really enjoying them, you can like the video. So YouTube algorithm can push this video to people that really need to watch it so let's go back to our flashing box and let's refresh and let's see if we have the email from microsoft Azure. you can see we have the email here and i'm just going to copy this email copy we'll come to this place and we're going to paste the code then we we'll click on next so at times they'll tell you to verify your human they will give you a lot of like a five or six or seven steps where out where you can verify if you're human you just need to go through the steps uh, it's something really really compulsory for you to go through so let us wait and see if they're going to give us that oh yes they are going to give us that please solve the puzzle so we know you're not a robot so click on next <clears throat> and please do not skip any part of this video if you skip any part of this video you might really not get everything you want so make sure uh you okay verification complete so let's wait for them to redirect us back to our home page okay so our azure is loading right now they're preparing a dashboard for us so let us wait steadily for that to load and see what we have on a dashboard okay yeah uh, uh database a dashboard is being created so now what you do is you'll be greeted with a message like this welcome to microsoft Azure. so let's we're going to skip the talk for now now what we are going to do next is just over on this virtual machine not click over on this virtual machine then you come to where you have create a windows virtual machine in azure so let's click on that it's going to open a new tab for us and we have the process of creating the virtual machine so this is what we have and the next thing we are going to click on click on start uh, for you to start creating your virtual machine then scroll down we have a seven steps here okay so we're going to scroll down and you click on continue then from the first step that take us to step two 
and from the first step two you don't really have anything to do here you can just read what you have there but you don't really have anything to do there just click on next and it will take you to step three now in this step three is going to check uh the sandbox uh it's, it's going to check the sandbox but before checking it will tell you to sign in to activate your sign uh your sandbox so click on the sign in to activate then it will go back to your account and tell you to log in and uh, although you see your account already logged in all you just need to do is click and if you can't see it uh, if you could remember what we use here so i'm going to copy this come back here and I'll paste this and click on next and it wouldn't even request for your password all you just need to do is your email so it's going to load then okay I'm signing as this display name okay uh, let me say simple tech is a display name you need to fill this with a display name that is what you'll see on your on your dashboard so the country you join i'm gonna pick uh i'm gonna pick united states okay i'm gonna pick united states as my region now you can pick whatever state you want your your ldp to be probably you want to be browsing from china you want to access the web from korea from uk from anywhere so you just pick that and yeah i'm gonna pick network engineer then your level i'm gonna pick a beginner level click on next and yeah what i just want is the azure i'm not interested in whatever thing you have just the azure so you all said click on ok then it's going to reload and take you back to your dashboard <clears throat> now the level three will start reading it's checking for your existing uh, sandbox so we have to wait till this reach 100 percent So we need to verify our account is going to bring a capture for us you solve the capture and you verify your account so let's wait a little bit for that let's click on verify pick one square that shows two identical objects and that should be this done now it's going to review a permission it will tell you to review the permission that is you know, what they are going to request from you probably your account name and whatever things they want to get from you so you need to accept this permission for them to be able to create a virtual machine a virtual sandbox and rdp in your name so let us click on that and let's so this is what i just receiving from you your profile data your log and activity and this so just click on accept so it keeps loading the sandbox and mind you we're still in what step three of seven so we're gonna wait for this to load to 100 percent so like i said uh, we offer tutorials on uh, technical issues and issues you might have your with your windows on internet issues so if you really uh, love this channel i would implore you to subscribe to our channel so we can grow together so let's wait for this to load from zero to under like i said i don't want to pause or skip any of those videos so you don't uh skip any as well it wouldn't really take us much time so so 91 and mind you we see i have a flashing box here uh who point okay sandbox activated time remaining one ah so a sandbox has been activated so what you need to do is click on next and for just scroll down and you know, read everything you have but you don't really have anything to do here click on next again uh, you don't really have anything to do so just click next to you get to unit seven of a uh, seven so now what you need to do is click on uh, the ports you want to be open okay i want https to be open i'm using os space and the final rule click on allow all and check your answers okay so i'm gonna close this so um once you're done with this just come back to where you have your microsoft 
as well. Uh, click on this sign out then we have to sign in again so we would have access to creating a virtual machine so let's wait for that to sign us out then it's going to log in again using thompson at flashbox flashingbox.com that is our new so enter your password still sign in yes i'm still signed in so we're done so the next thing you have to do is go again to where you have your virtual machine and click on create virtual machine now click on this arrow you know initially the first one we did we never click on the arrow so you click on this create then i'm going to click on azure virtual machine so let's wait for that to load and we can close this so uh this is what we want to use so just leave this as this the resource group you need to choose this that we created virtual machine name uh let's call this simple tech that's a virtual machine name and region i'm okay with us west okay if you want to change the region you can change availability option uh you can just leave that now security type make sure you're on standard okay and here you change it to windows 10 or whichever windows you want to use but i prefer you use windows 10 then after that this is going to change okay just leave that and um the size just leave the size you don't have anything to do with the size so the username just write the username you want to use and the password should be at least 12 character long 12 character long excuse me so i'm gonna put I'm gonna put my password so a uh, public inbound rule allow allow HTTPS allow this you need to click all this for you need to allow all this okay so click on like confirm and after that you click on review and create so it's gonna review and create your your rdp although you see something like price here that you'll be spending 0 0.111 you know, 70 us dollar per hour but no it's really it's really really free so the next thing you have to do is read what you have here like what you can see here we have uh, a gen 2 that is two core uh we have um okay you can just read everything you have here then you click on what create so it's gonna take a whole lot of time to uh it's gonna take maybe uh, one minute or two minutes or three minutes to create depending on the speed of your system as well so while creating you will see something like submitting deployments and uh, you see a notification box here it's submitting deployment so we need to wait uh for it to submit the deployments you're going to see all the deployments that are submitting here uh five of them to be precise then when it's done you can actually download and let's start using a uh, virtual machine so let's wait for this to load i'm gonna speed up this process to see So now deployment succeeded, just click on go to resource and you see something like simple tech virtual machine agent is not ready yet so just leave that it's going to be ready as soon as possible okay so what you need to do is click on connect click on connect and you click on RDP connection then you scroll down to uh, download out the key file so i'm going to download this on my simple tech on my download folder so that is simple tech. i'm going to click on save
so now we've downloaded the rdp the next thing we are going to do is run this rdp file so uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, click on this button and uh, we need to open this you need to click on this rdp for it to load okay don't ask me again for this connection then i'm gonna click on connect and let's wait for now the username if you could remember we use a uh, simple tech for the username and excuse me that's a password So don't ask me again, just click on yes and violet you here to your Windows RDP. So let's wait for that to load up. So you can see this is Windows 10. Okay, this is just Windows 10. So we're gonna wait for this to load up. So the next thing you see is privacy setting. I would, I would advise you not to touch anything here, just click on accept then it's gonna take a little bit of moments to take you to your windows so welcome to your new rdp windows so let's wait for it to load a little bit so we can check um, the configuration of our system to see what we have on our system so i'm gonna open the uh, uh, folder i'll go to this pc like you see okay this is 126 gig and we have a temporary storage of 15 gig so i'm gonna right click and go to properties so we can see you can see we have installed memory 7.95 which is like that is 8 gig ram so you can do whatever you want with this so hope you love this video if you really enjoyed this video please like this video now, if you have issues with um connecting uh with the azure account or your temporary email just put your issue in the comment section and i'm going to answer every issue there so thank you and see you in the next uh, video